All right, guys, it's Bradley. I'm back. Um, I just got done um, doing a quick uh, kind of rebuild uh, slash cleaning on my three-way valve. I decided that maybe I would look inside the pump and see uh, what's hiding inside of there. Um, I'm taking the pump apart on the unit. I'm not sure if that's advised or not, but what's the worst that happens? Um, so yeah, I'll quit blocking the camera. Uh, just a Phillips head screwdriver. Seems to get these loose. So, screws are loose. And, uh, there's, uh, four screws inside of it. That's the inside of the, uh, pump there as it comes apart. Wouldn't imagine you'd want to get water inside of that if you ever get inside of this thing. Um, but we'll set that aside. Uh, and there's like a cover on top of here. I'm not sure if this is a serviceable item or not, but we're gonna assume it is. So there's the, uh, the kind of the pump cup, I guess, uh, the impeller and whatnot should be sitting inside of there. So I'll get these screws out. We will see. What's inside of there? Hopefully, I've not voided my warranty by doing this. That would suck. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. So, boom. That's it. That's what's inside the, uh, I guess we'll call it the cup. Uh, it does have a nice o ring seal on there. Um, there's the impeller itself. Uh, and it is. Not sure if it's coming up but we are shooting in 4k and it is perfectly clean so you know I wouldn't say there's anything to really worry about on this guy um, just the valves and that's kind of the nature of uh, ball valves themselves that's just kind of how they are so anyhow I'm gonna go ahead and throw this back together real quick all right, guys, so as you can see, it's the last one of the screws going back in the pump. Uh, not really any need to look inside of there, but we did anyways. And uh, I even made a video. Um, so, yeah, um, I actually um, spun the pump a little bit uh, just for ease of access. Its orientation is this way, um, and I'll put it back that way here in a second. I'm actually going to... Uh, when I was going for a little ride, I'm uh, I'm going to remove this this barb here, and I'm going to go with a um, half inch to a tri clover here, and uh, one of the newer straight pieces of tri clover pipe. I really want uh, to be able to get this hose off. It just help with getting the system kind of dried out and whatnot. So I'm going to throw that on. None too exciting to watch, and. Uh, Go from there. Uh, may also look inside of this valve, but it looks like a lot of work to get it off. And uh, I've already been quite busy. So yeah, um, you notice in that, that's from a previous little leak. If you read the instructions, it does say to uh, check everything for tightness. Um, previously, uh, the first use, uh, tiny little leak, flip the unit over, um, just spun it like uh, a full rotation, a, a full turn, leak stopped, uh, hasn't come back, so big deal. But if you happen to see it, that's what that was, because we are shooting in 4K at the moment. Anyhow, so I'm going to throw that on, and then I'll come back and kind of show you guys what I did. It's none too exciting, but I'm doing it, so what the hell. All right, guys, so here we are back. Got the uh, piece on there. I truthfully wish they had a little bit shorter tube. I don't want to come out so far, and I guess I could get a try and put a tube uh, straight in a hose, anyways. 
But I just don't want to, my hand barely fits in there. I don't really feel like fooling with the tri-clamp under there. Um, so for now, I think that's the shortest piece they offer. It's going to get the job done, so it's going to do the job. But anyhow, yeah, the pump's back on. Nothing exciting inside of it. Um, I opted uh, to uh, to pull this valve. Uh, it was actually pretty easy to get it out. Um, had to unhook. I put hose clamps on it. I don't really think they're needed, but I feel better because it is under it. And if it's full, you cannot get to those. Or you should not, we'll say. Um, that one, honestly... Uh, wasn't horrible it wasn't bad at all the other one like i said is like the main intake so you know who knows take it with a grain of salt but anyhow i'm gonna flip it over show you guys what i'm doing and uh we'll be done that simple all right so we're back uh right way up or right side up um went ahead and made the switch um pulled out the uh, factory uh temperature holder um sensor holder and uh Placed it with the uh, tri-clamp one instead of the barb, just to make things a little easier to unhook and take apart. Um, the big difference is this one, the O-ring sealed down inside. This one comes with a couple of new O-rings. It seals on top. Um, uh, I guess it's a better design. It seems to be great. I have two of them now, and I have an extra two of these, so anyone in the U.S. Uh, needs one of these, let me know. I'll hook you up. You have no idea. Anyhow. So then here's uh, the tube sticking out of said uh, B80 Pro. A little bit further than I want, and uh, maybe I should have got some more 90s. But we'll see how it goes together. All right, guys, I need to adjust one of my hoses. Uh, this is one of the old ones I used uh, before I added that fourth valve. Um, so I need to uh, snag the barbs off it, but these are on there really good so a trick to get them off at least I've found take a tri clamp put it on there then you could just grip it and uh, makes it a lot easier to pull off so much easier to uh, off camera but that's uh, one way that I've found to get them off super easy if you haven't thought of it all right, guys, so I figured I would show everyone just how easy it is to do a software update. So part of the video, um, go here, go to update. And uh, it's found an update. It knows it's there. And it is downloading. It's that simple. So I'll be on uh, the newer version with delayed start and all the latest features. So it's, uh, it's super easy. So... Since everything else has been really boring <laughs> up until now, and watching this thing update probably isn't too entertaining, um, I'll kind of give you guys, show you what my valve setup is going to look like for my next brew day um, with getting married and whatnot, and then Christmas. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, not been much time. So, go over here. I lose track of the camera and uh, give it a look. So basically this is the inlet whenever I sparge. Go from my uh, HLT into here, flip the valve like this, straight through into the pump. Um, obviously mash this guy into the full uh, up current position, right? Which it's not now. I don't feel like fiddling with it. Um, and go from there. So then over here is where it gets to be, uh, uh, those are just some fittings, uh, 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 inch and a half stuff for uh, my unit tank. Uh, but anyways, over here is where it gets to be a little uh, excessive. That's one way to describe it. Uh, unnecessary, but pretty shiny. So let's see if I can get you guys a view what's going on. So we're coming out of the unit through the sight glass. And there's a couple ways you can direct the flow. So spin this valve this way. It's going to go through the chiller, right? And then up uh, the aeration, uh, inlet oxygenation kits here. It's easiest to put the stone in up and down, loosen these and flip it when you start using it. That's what I found to be the easiest way. 
Um, it does require a little extra cleaning, but it's not really a big deal. And then you would just, uh, obviously you would flip this valve this way and that's going to, uh, let you, uh, chill and whirlpool at the same time. Um, that's great. So then if you want to say, uh, uh, what if you just want to, you don't want to go through the chiller, you want to bypass the chiller. So you would spin this lower valve this way. And now, um, coming directly into this uh, fourth or, uh, well, honestly, fifth valve, because the system has that one three-way valve in the center. So now you're coming straight into here, up this 90, this 45, this other 45, into this other three-way valve, and you would just spin it simply that way. And, uh, yeah, you're cooking. You're going straight in the adjustable, uh, the second adjustable uh, dip tube. Highly recommended, in my opinion. I really like that. Um, it does use an extra tri-clamp. Pretty much everything here uses a ton of tri-clamps. So I guess the last thing would be to uh, to drain the system, right? Or if you wanted to go to fermenter. So that would happen out this port. So you'd hook another hose up, uh, whatever size. Um, and you would, you obviously, you, keep, you know, you could do it this way, but you'd probably want to, I would assume you'd want to go through the chiller. So you go through the chiller, and you take this guy up here, if it's, uh, woo, sorry there, facing straight out, <laughs> um, it's going to come down. And then you just spin it this one this way. So then it's going to come down and do a 90 here and come out uh, this hose. Um, same thing, if, so that's how you do it. If you want it to fully drain the system uh, without having to unhook anything, you would just take this guy and put it like that and then everything all the flow um and then you would actually have this guy uh straight back like this and you would be a straight shot out of the system uh this is slightly uh canted down so i don't know how great it's going to work i'm not thrilled about it but you know it's really hard uh not really knowing exactly how big the pieces are or not really understanding the metric system or being too lazy to figure it out is is my reality. But yeah, um, that's how it'll work. It's a whole lot of extra shiny. It's overkill, but it's something I wanted to do. And I was able to do it, which is super cool. Um, I guess that's it. The pump wasn't too exciting. Um, you know, I did crack open, uh, this is the new valve here. I opened this guy, uh, just broke the, uh, one of these off. It was perfectly clean on um, this lower one and the uh, upper one was pretty clean too. Actually the lower one had a little bit of gunk, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't bad. Um, yeah, that I have said, I don't know if I mentioned before, I really want like a silicone mat for the system to sit on. I would be okay with buying a Brutals branded one. You know, I'm sure they have to get a, buy a bunch of tooling and, you know, I'm sure it's just capital it would take them to go out and you know, buy the tooling and then have them made and have them shipped and, uh, 